Hey guys, it's Margaret and welcome to this live haul and the 7,000 subscriber giveaway. I am so grateful to everyone that has subscribed to me over the last almost two years and I have recently just surpassed 7,000 subscribers. So I'm very grateful and as a thank you, I'm going to do a jewelry giveaway. So I'm going to share that at the end and how you enter and all of that. So I'm very, very excited. Yay. So thank you everybody for coming over to watch. I went thrifting yesterday because I need more stuff apparently. But I, again, I am trying to keep it smalls. So I'm moving a little more towards jewelry and things and yeah, going from there. So here we go. I am going to start with what I picked up at the Goodwill. Basically everything's from the Goodwill, so I don't know why I said that. Um, hey, one witch lady in the chat and Kelly and Dora and Crafty Caregiver and Joni. Good morning. I'm so glad to see you. Okay, so let's see where I'm going to start. Let me just start with this one. So I picked up this cassette tape. It is Madonna's Like a Virgin. Um, and I paid 49 cents for it. Now, okay, it's this one, like a tan cover. So I'm going to share with you um, on my on eBay what I found. The thing is, like, I didn't find this exact same cover. So I'm not sure what to make of that. I'm going to have to talk to my friend Jason, who knows stuff about music. So here we go. I'm going to screen share. Here it comes. So I'm finding this one where it's the black cover, but I didn't find one. Mine is mine looks like this, but it's the white cover. Um, so I'm not sure. And then my tape is the t a tan tape. So even on solds, I don't know. I mean, unless mine's a bootleg, I don't. Know. <laughs> but I do know somebody who will know, and um, that's what I'm going to do. Oh, somebody in the chat says, "Did you?" Not somebody. One witch lady asks, says. You scan the Amazon app. You can scan the cover. I didn't. I didn't even think of that. You know what? <laughs> Let me do that. <laughs> Hang on. So yeah, I I don't. I didn't see the same one. So I'm sure you know there are bootlegs of it, and or I mean, and I looked at the you know where it was made. You know, in case it was made somewhere funky, but it wasn't. It's you know it says it's made here. We'll see. All right. So here we go. Let's scan the front. It's scanning. Here we go. Now it's thinking. <laughs> Kelly says, yay, I got you live. Yay. Hey, suit, some Oz mom. Um, okay. Yeah, it doesn't pull up. It just pulls up the image of her, you know, and then like the CD, this and that. Slow moving ASIN. Sorry, Madonna. <laughs> You're a slow moving ASIN right now. Uh, Prairie Picking Girl says, excited for you. you keep growing and growing. Thanks so much. And Kim says, I love the headband. So yeah, this is my, I'm trying to corral this crazy hair because when I wear it down, I, because I'm pale, so it just like washes me way out. So yeah, I'm trying to work with it. <laughs> I don't know if I told you, I let my boys pick. I, I put, I showed them the normal color I get and then I showed them something a little darker. I didn't know it was going to be this dark and they chose this one. So <laughs> that's what happens. Um, good morning, Nancy and Sunshine Treasure and Julie. And Sylvia, good morning. Okay, so I'm not sure what I'll do with this one. I'm going to check with my friend Jason because he knows about music. There's a number down there. Maybe I can enter that little number that's down there. Um, yeah, so this one is full digital recording. It says, okay, I don't know. So that's that. <laughs> Thank you, Kelly. She said, they did good. They did good. Large Flippin' Family says, I just got done watching your dumpster dive video. Oh my gosh, wasn't that hilarious? Tonya and I went dumpster diving. And um, we're going again this week. We're going Wednesday. So I'm going to record us again. And we're going to be more prepared. We got so many comments about, where are your gloves? And Tanya's wearing open-toed shoes. And we, I mean, we were just, to we're total amateurs. So we're learning as we go. But now we know. When we go back, we need this, we need that, we need this. Don't go on Monday because that's the trash already came. So we'll figure it out. It, it was fun. It was fun. Yeah, large flipping family says I will give her pointers. Thank you. <laughs> Alrighty, next up, <clears throat> I have got okay. This is not normally something I would pick up, uh, but it is this sealed. It looks like a guitar, and it's from Seven Eleven, and it's Slurpee, and it was seventy nine cents. So this is from two thousand nine, and I don't find any on eBay, but I found out what it's from. 
and I'll screen share that for you. Here it comes. Oh, my screen share is silly. So this was an event that Slurpee did. Slurpee rocks out with first virtual battle of the bands. So that's something that happened. And they had these promotional guitar Slurpee things. Mine is still sealed and everything. So I thought, okay, cool. So I, <laughs> that didn't really tell me what it's worth though. So I went on, you know, eBay and was looking and I found Slurpee cups and things like that, but I couldn't find this one. So I don't know. <laughs> I'm going to put it up. I guess I'll just put a crazy number on it. You know, put all those keywords, you know, Battle of the Bands, 7-Eleven, whatever. And then maybe it'll sell. Maybe somebody will want it. Um, or if you find something about it, let me know because that's, a lot of times that happens. I've searched and searched and then somebody comes up with their magic and says, look, I found something and here it is. So we'll see. I, I'm, I'm probably going to put like 50 bucks on it, just something crazy because I can't find one like it. Unless you find one, and then I'll change my mind. But at the moment, I'm going to put a crazy number with best offer on it. <laughs> Good morning, girl up north and kicking with Reggie. Thank you so much. And hello, estate cleaner. And if I missed you, say hi, and I'll say hi. Okay, next up, let's see what I have pulled up next. Well, that's still my Slurpee. Okay, so this, oh, I didn't tell you what I spent altogether. I spent, okay, ready, $72 at the Goodwill yesterday. With, and I don't need anything. I have so much to list, but I spent $72 at Goodwill yesterday. But I think I'm, I'm going to do pretty well to make my money back. And this was one of the items I picked up. It is an enamel butterfly. I paid 99 cents for it. I could tell it was silver and I could tell it was vintage. And normally, things like this I'll find, and it says, you know, like 925 Mexico, Hinjo in Mexico. And so I saw the little markings down there and I thought, okay, that's probably what it says. Well, no, that's not what it says. <laughs> when I got home, it reads Norway and then some other stuff. I haven't gotten my loop out. Norway, Sterling, S-E or B-E, 925-S. So then I thought, oh, okay, let me look that up. And there we go. So let me show you. And then I, now this, this one thing makes me feel not so bad about spending $72. So here we go. Oh, hang on one much, lady. I'll get back with you on that in the chat. Look at this. Look, look, look. These are, I did my, just a Google search, Norway sterling silver enamel butterfly pin. These are the things that pulled up just on my Google search when I clicked on shopping. And yeah, so they're going like 70 bucks, 46, 79, <clears throat> pardon. And, and there, and around that mark, right? And I saw one that was very similar to this. Where did it go? Maybe it was on images. Oh dear, maybe this was the one that was real similar to it. Maybe that's it. Anyway, um, so yeah, it, it looks like it's gonna be around that $50 mark. This one is super similar, just different coloring. Oh, that's on Tumblr. Gosh, that's not gonna give me any numbers. So I am thinking, that it's gonna, I'm gonna put it up around that $50 mark. And I know some people fuss and say, you're not showing us solds. I don't always go off of solds. Um, I look at everything. So yeah, I think this is gonna go at least for $50. I'm gonna put it up for that at least. Cause I saw some that were up for even more. So could you believe it? I couldn't. Let's see. Um, I saw something, where did she, okay. One witch lady says, saw Slurpee one on worth points sold with no lid used the blue and a blue one of the Slurpee guitar for 20 bucks. Awesome. Yes. <laughs> Used no lid 20 bucks. I love it. So mine is going up for 50, maybe more now, right? Cause it's new and sealed and everything. Ah, okay. Thank you so much. Okay. Let me see. Hey, rabbit trails treasures. Um, oh, thanks for the headband. Yeah. Uh, like I said, I'm just trying to corral this hair. Um, and I have to wear more makeup too, to really, so I don't look so washed out with it. Anyway, but that's a, that's a different story, I guess. Hey, Treasure Pirate, and hello, Gail and Portia and Kelly. Do you search by Google Shopping? Thank you. Um, I search, I usually pull up Google Shopping. That's my first, because I'll Google search it and see if I find any images um, of it. So here's what I do. I'll just pull it over and show you exactly what I do. Come here, you. Uh, so when I first search, 
I'll take whatever term I'm searching and I'll, I'll Google it. And then I pull up just the images so I can find like, try to find my exact one. That's super similar. And then I can see, you know, is it on Etsy? Is it on eBay? You know, and then from there, I'll go and search eBay and Etsy separately. But this way I can see, you know, if it's on Terapeak or WorthPoint or, you know, Poshmark or wherever, Pinterest, any other site that's out there. Um, so it kind of gives me a broad jumping off point. And then I kind of narrow my search from there. That's what I do. Okay, let's see. Hey, Jane, how's it going? All right, so next up, let's see what I've got pulled up in my search. I don't, I don't it's not a huge, huge haul, but it's, it's enough. <laughs> that I spent 72 bucks. You'll see why in, in a minute. All right, so next up, I got this necklace. It is a big, like, daisy flower enamel necklace. And it's not sterling silver or anything. I just thought it was cool. <laughs> and it was $2.99 at the Goodwill. So I paid up for that. And I'm thinking I'm going to put at least 25 bucks on it. So let me show you what I pulled up. This is on Etsy. Come here, screen share. I don't know why I always have trouble getting screen share jumping off real fast. Here we go. Let's see. So again, I couldn't find the same exact one. I didn't dig super hard, but here I found one kind of similar, 26 bucks. So this is, I mean, generally this is what I do. I kind of look around and see what it's going for. I usually price high and then put best offer if I when I put it on eBay. Because a lot of times people on Etsy will pay that higher, higher price. So yeah, I mean, I didn't narrow my search too much, but look, this one's going for 39. Oh, it's gold plate, but still. Mine's pretty cool. Some people don't care about, you know, they just want the look, right? So it's super hippie, right? Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna put probably at least 25 on that. I might go, I might do 30 now that I've seen some other numbers. Let's see, hey Maggie, how are you? And then, let's see what I have up next. This one, okay, th they had a bunch of these. This, and they were still on the card, and the brand is called Carol, oh boy, De Plays. I'm not sure I'm saying that right. And it was $2.99, and she had a bunch of them, and it's on a long, long string. Oh, now, now it got tangled, hang on. Of course it did. I had it all ready to go. But this one, I, li I just liked it. And it had this tassel. It's getting tangled again. It has this long tassel with these green and little rhinestones, and I made sure that none of the stones were missing in there before I got it. And like I said, she had a bunch of them, but this is the one I picked out that I wanted to take. And it, it was $2.99, and they're not going for a ton. It's, uh, it kind of depends on the, the style. So I'll show you what I pulled up on my eBay sold, because this one is not vintage. I won't put this on, on a eBay. Oh, I'm seeing a peeled off part of a sticker on the back from Steinmark. So, okay, I guess they sell it at Steinmark. Steinmark. So, they, they're kind of all over the place. Five bucks, $19.90, $9.99. Um, I am thinking, see, and this is, I just wouldn't do this. Like, so that's why I don't pay too close attention to the sold. Maybe I take off auctions because I don't, I don't want to see, you know, for me, that's not realistic. So I want to look at things that are not off, off of auctions. So I may put it, you know, at $19.99 with best offer because I think I can get that for it. <laughs> oh, thanks, Maggie. She says, I look very gyps gypsyish today. Gypsyish. There you go. Thanks, Karen at the beach. Love my look today. I don't normally do it, right? I just normally just go normal. All right. Maybe I ought to do myself more often. Do myself. Do my hair. Okay, whatever. All right. <laughs> Next, moving forward, I, I got this. And this was a surprise. The one that I found that was like it um, wasn't going for what I thought. Okay, so here's this Monet. Look at this brooch. Isn't it pretty? It's swirl. It's got all these pretty rhinestones, colorful greens and purples. It's not missing any stones. It was 99 cents. Now I'm looking at it. Is that a, no, no, it's not missing. Okay, so the one that I found is on Etsy. I just think they have theirs underpriced. <laughs> I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go with that. So here's the one that I found. Plus, theirs is not, I don't know, mine looks really prettier than that. <laughs> Maybe my picture will be prettier. I don't know. So they have theirs on for $10. And I didn't dig really, really hard to find another one like it. 
but I will certainly be putting mine up for more. Certainly. And I don't see what the price was on the back originally. I don't know. So stop screen sharing. Yeah, I think for sure I'm going to I'm going to price mine more than that. I'm thinking more closer to the $20 mark just because I don't mind waiting, you know. I just don't. So let's see. <laughs> Oh gosh. Hey Phoebe, how are you? Right, mine looks brighter and cleaner one, which lady says. I'm looking at the person's shop real quick to see, you know, are they well they sell a lot of brooches and stuff. Um yeah, we'll see. I mean they seem like they're they're an experienced seller. Sometimes <clears throat> sometimes not so experienced sellers will price a little lower. Sometimes. <clears throat> and and I've had some comments about my the catch in my throat. And people being concerned that they still hear this little cough. I think it's um, allergies or acid reflux because I drink a lot of coffee. I drink black coffee. Um, but I am going to the doctor just because I had a number of people mentioned in one of my last videos. Uh, so I am, pardon, I am going to the doctor to get it checked out. So <laughs> that's that. All right. The next few things I don't have any screen shares for. Um, these... Uh, these earrings are two pairs and they were in a baggie together. This is the first pair. And it looks, I think that's like that druzy quartz, that sparkly, sparkly. I'll have to get my, they're either really not clean or I need to get my magnifying glass out and look a little closer at them. And then these ones with these turquoise carbachons, I don't think these are, you know, real turquoise. I have to look a little closer at them, but I don't think so. My my gut feeling is not. I didn't test them. I didn't, oops, there goes one. I didn't uh, pull out my magnet or anything yet. So those two pairs of earrings were in a little baggie for $4.99. And at first I thought, oh no, I'm trying to see where that earring went before one of the cats gets it. My kittens get everything. <laughs> at first I thought, oh, I'm not going to pay $4.99. And then I thought, okay, wait. Would I pay two fifty for one pair? Yes, I would. So I went with it. I, I don't know. I, I guess I should have pulled my magnet out <laughs> so I could give you more information. But I'm thinking, even if they're not sterling silver, even if they're just you know cabochons and they're just decorative, I still think I'll put at least twenty bucks a pair on them. Um, I do. <laughs> I think I can. I think they'd probably bring that. So again, I didn't pull up any research on those. It's just sort of my gut feeling. Some Oz mom says maybe Stanstone, and that's what Kicking with Reggie says as well. Awesome. So I will check that out. Oh dear. Where did you go? Oh brother. I hope the cat didn't get it. Uh oh. Oh there it is. Pardon me. And then I just realized I didn't look up this other stuff that was in here. So I picked this up. I just thought it was cute. $2.99. It's this little basket <clears throat> with a bicycle on it. But I think I'm going to keep this we have a little table, a little table next to our table where we keep all the supplies for the kids. Uh, and so I'm thinking I'll keep things in there to try to keep it a little tidier. <clears throat> so that's that. Darn, I forgot I didn't look these up. I got this for no good reason other than it reminded me of David Bowie in Labyrinth. <laughs> so it was 49 cents and it's the crystal ball. Have you seen Labyrinth? And he does the thing with the, the ball and he's like, you know what I'm talking about. So I don't, I don't know if these things sell. I don't know anything. I just, <laughs> it reminded me of David Bowie, so I had to get it. <laughs> get, oh, get back to work. Okay, Nancy, see you later. Um, and then the next thing I picked up was this money clip. I pick up money clips when I find them because they, they tend to sell. This one was 99 cents, and it's got this gold nugget look to it. I didn't test you know, I haven't pulled out my magnet or anything yet, or my, I don't think it's real. <laughs> if it turns, <laughs> if it turns out real, I'll let you know. But uh, Julie says, rem you remind me of the babe, <laughs> the babe with the power, right? The power of voodoo. Anyway, <laughs> I digress, of course. So I'm thinking that I'll probably at least put at least 20, 25 bucks on this because they, they tend to go for good money. So that's that. And then this ring, gosh, I meant to look it up. Here we go. That was 99 cents. Look at this. Not upside down. It's Pluto, and it's sort of this shell. I mean, it looks like shell inlaid. 
in sterling silver. It's super vintage, you guys. I mean, the hang on, let me get the sticker off. It's super bent up, so I'll have to bend it right. It was 99 cents. 99 cents. And I'm looking. Hang on. Hey, Henry. How's it going? Uh, thin Fashion Plus says the crystal balls usually sell for 8 to 10 pounds over here. Awesome. And Peace says, do you know any way to test brass? I don't. I'll have to look that up. Okay. So, oh, there is writing inside. Oh, dear. I should have gotten my stuff together for you guys better. P. Oh, boy. I can't read it. I'm going to have to pull it back up. S P E N E R. I'm gonna have to look this up more and let you know. Um, uh, you know, if you follow me on Instagram, I'm Texas Gal Treasures on Instagram or TX Gal Treasures, or on Facebook, and I'm gonna look this up and let you know because it's obviously Pluto, right? And it says stuff on the back. Gosh, sorry. Ting ting. Let me stop that real quick. And I hate to do this because I hate that I'm not talking because I'm trying to figure out what it says. P S P E N P Spencer maybe I have to look at it or P Spence. So anyway, I will. I do have a ring mandrel. I do, so I can just shove it in there. <laughs> uh, so you know what? I'm going to look it up because it's driving me bonkers. Let's do, let's look it up together and see what we find. I can't screen share. I don't have a screen up for you. Hang on. Uh, file new window. And now I can screen share. Da, 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 da. So, what is it? It's a Pluto necklace. Pluto, Disney. No, it's a ring. Ring, and then what did I say? P. Spencer, or something like that. Let's see. Not P. Spencer. Sorry, y'all. P. E. S P E N Spence. I don't know. It looks really old, so I'm kind of excited about it. Unless it's not really old. And then, okay, so I don't see anything straight off the bat. So I'll have to do a little more research and let you know. Like I say, I'll, I'll share on Instagram and I'll share in uh, on my Facebook page. Let's see. Kelly Davidson says, Zuni Indians used to make Disney character rings and necklaces in the 70s. The Sig is probably the artist. Ooh, wouldn't that be awesome? Okay, I'm going to look into that. Thank you. Thank you, Diane. She says, love the hair today. Hi, Angie M. Hello. Could not find any Pluto rings on Worth Point. Hi, dorky thrifters. Hello. How are you doing? <laughs> so glad to see you. And I, I watched your, your video, and, and thank you. So I'm, I'm hoping you're doing well. Thank you, Celia. Okay, and then another thing that I picked up, I had a Mickey Mouse one. Oh, girl, awesome, Kelly. So I'm going to do a little more digging on that. So follow me on Instagram, follow me on Facebook, and you'll find out. And maybe I'll, I'll say something on a video. <laughs> Chances are likely. All right, so this I picked up. This was a buck ninety nine, and I think I'm just going to keep it. It's so big, though, but maybe not. So it's a crown ornament, and I thought, well, surely it would be missing stones, and I didn't see any missing stones, so I bought it. And that's probably going to be for me. Oh, at home with Cindy says, just typed in Zuni Pluto ring, and I found it. Oh, okay, I'm going to type it in right now. Yay! Let's do this. Zuni Pluto ring. You can't see what I'm doing. Let me go to the green gear for you. Oh, please be worth big money. <laughs> oh, I see it. Okay, look. There, that looks pretty similar to it. This is the same style, right? These are really similar. Mine is just his head. It doesn't have his uh, neck or anything, but I, I think that's okay. This gives us a good breakdown. That's on eBay. Let's open that up. Global something or other. Global whatever. eBay. I'm just going to pull up a few other just to see what, what we find. All right, here we go. Here we go. What do we see? What? Shut your face. <gasps> no way. Oh, my gosh. Look, guys. So here's one, October 15, 2014. 
$168, 30 bids. Oh, wow. Okay, okay. Maybe that's just a fluke. I'm going to put it up high then. $99.63 on global market. eBay TV, visit page. Let's see what this says. Okay, that's not it. See, when you click on it, sometimes it switches it over to something else. Wow. Oh, man. Okay, let's see. Used ultrasound equipment. I don't think that's right. Okay. <laughs> Coral ring. And this one doesn't really say. Oh, my gosh. Look at the price that it's asking for. $1,775. I don't think that's right. That's a bit much. Okay, we saw that one already. And that's from that weird used ultrasound equipment. Look at this. Used ultrasound equipment. No thanks. <laughs> you just never know, right? Okay, let's see. Wow, right? That's awesome. Go Pluto. You're my new favorite. Uh, no, not a fluke. A silversmith artist made that. My dad was one. I tend to know about Native American art. Awesome. Kelly, thank you so much. And thanks, you guys. Who was it that found it? when they did the search, so I can say thank you again. Uh, at home with Cindy, thank you. So awesome. So now I don't feel so bad for spending 70, what did I say, $72. Yes, this is actually live, Kate. Hey, how are you? <laughs> there is a current sold listing if you search on eBay. Do you know what it says? I'll have to go back. What, what does it say for current? Because that one was an old one. I would pull it back up, but I already feel bad that I, I don't know how my windows pulled up for you guys. I'm pulling up the rest of the stuff that I got. All right, here we go. Pulling it up here so I can show you. Wobbles. All right, so then I also got these. These are for me. I spent four bucks, and there's two trays, but this is for me because I sort a lot of jewelry. And thank goodness because I... One witch lady said $295 in the sold for it. I'm going to put this up for a lot of money. <laughs> and I'm going to put, you know, I'll put best offer on it. And then I won't take a best offer less than, than that. <gasps> so exciting. <laughs> Thank you so much, you guys. Okay. <laughs> That's some good news. All right. So then, oh my goodness, here comes. The reason I spent $72 is because I bought two jewelry bags. This is the first one, $24.99. There were some things in there that I, I, you know, I saw some really nice vintage brooches that I felt like, you know, this one right here, I can probably make half the money back on the whole shebang. Um, and then there were, what else did I see in there? I try to make sure that I find something in there. Oh, here we go. There's a, te a Texas bangle here. It's a Bengal bracelet, and then there's a little Texas emblem here that'll hook on there. Um, I try to find, make sure I find stuff in there that will cover the cost of everything. Oh, thank you, one witch lady. Okay. Um, I don't know if you can see that. So I'm going to do an unboxing of this later because <laughs> I'm a jewelry junkie. And then another one, this other one that I got was also $24.99. And I, again, I had to make sure I saw stuff that I thought I could make my money back on. She had, when I say she, the manager, there were like three or four other ones in the case. One was all full of like children's jewelry. One was full of, I don't know, what, like broken watches and stuff. Um, one was like just bracelets and it was like plasticky bracelets. Uh, and then she says, oh, well, come back because I later... I'm going to be putting out more because I have like three tubs of jewelry in the back that I just need to start shoving into bags. And I just said, hey, can I just make you a deal on all three tubs? I'll just buy them all from you. And she said, no. But I tried. <laughs> and then I called Tanya because I knew I wouldn't be able to get back over there. There's a ring in this one. You don't normally see a lot. I don't, I don't normally see a lot of rings in them. There's a ring in that one. No fall. Um, so, yeah, I called Tanya and said, hey, the lady said she's going to be putting out some more jewelry bags later this was yesterday and uh, I knew I wouldn't be able to get back over there because I was going to mom's so hopefully she will be able to she was able to do that my cats cat one cat's on either side of the door so they're they're fighting over there 
Um, I wish Etsy had best offer on its site. You know, they that would be nice, but I do put on the top of my shop, um, hey, you know, if you want to make a deal, send me a message. And so I have frequently had people send me a message on Etsy saying, hey, you know, can, can we work out a deal? So I think if you put it out there that you're willing to work, then, then there are, there, people will message you. Um, Kelly says, we don't have any in our area, boo-hoo. I know, I feel bad. Um, one witch lady says, all the bags here have junk and Mardi Gras beads. Oh, we, I find that a lot too, but maybe it's because some crazy girl like me already got there first and <laughs> took all the good stuff. <laughs> and then Kathy sees, have to have a wonderful day. I have to get back to work, to court from all. Well, have a good day, Kathy. Um, Kate's place says, I have some jewelry. I may need your help with. Absolutely. I I'm happy to help. It's a passion. And you know, we started that group too, Ka um, Kate, on Facebook. It's called Jewelry Lovers and Sellers, something like that. Uh, and it's no selling in the group. But you know, if we have, like, what is this? Can you go high? What's this mark? And what is this stone? Blah, blah, blah. Um, then we help each other with that. Um, Gail says, my local Goodwill doesn't have jars or bags either. Oh, yeah. So, but on a positive note, since we're at that part in the, in the show, I'm giving away a bag of jewelry. It's not a giant one, but it's a small one. And I've handpicked all the pieces in there. So they're pieces that I had sorted, because I've gone through and sorted all my jewelry, you know, into brooches and bracelets and necklaces, rings, et cetera, et cetera. And then I have a big tub full of, you know, put it in a lot or crafter's lot or redonate or something. So all of this came from my stuff that I was going to list, not from my junk pile, I promise. So this is the bag that I'm going to give away and it's got a little everything. So I went through each tub, like got some earrings, got some bracelets, got some necklace, got some, you know, a little bit from everything. Uh, so this is the one that I'm going to give away. And so to enter, I know you guys are watching live, and I don't have a way to record who's all here right now. So I, I have this video link on my Texas Gal Treasure page, and I also have it linked if you're an International League of Thrifters. So leave me a comment there, or you can come back later when this has gone live, you know, after it saves out, and leave a comment on the video. And then I'm going to put everybody's name into the random picker and send this out. So. And I had someone ask me if it's only for U.S., but it's not. So if you're in the U.K., Canada, whatever, that's fine, too. Uh, because I feel like you guys spend the time to come watch and subscribe. And, you know, it's not, it's not going to break the bank if I have to send it to Canada or whatever. So, yeah, leave me a comment either on the, this. There's a clip for this video on my Texas Gal Treasures Facebook page, International League of Thrifters, or come back and leave one here. And thank you, everybody, for watching today and for subscribing because it's, it means a lot to me. And it's done a lot for me over the last almost two years. So thank you. Thank you very much. And thank you guys for helping me <laughs> find out what some of my stuff is. I appreciate it. So again, um, thank you. And good heavens, those cats. Um, I'll be back on in an hour, <laughs> just so you know. I'm not crazy. Uh, okay, maybe I am, but I'd already planned with Joe Clay and Jeff Davidson. We were going to do it tomorrow, not it, but talk about merch. And so tomorrow, tomorrow I forgot I was going to go out with Tanya to go dumpster diving. So we moved it to today. So Joe Clay, Jeff Davidson, and I are going to talk about our merch stuff in an hour. So you'll see me back live in an hour. And I will, uh, <laughs> and I will see you then. Kelly says, "Can't wait to see you and Joe on merch." <laughs> thanks. <laughs> Thank you guys, and thanks for coming to watch live. Sixty viewers, yay! All right, I'm just—I feel really keyed up and happy. So thanks again. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.